So we're all familiar by now with the report that was given to BuzzFeed that details all the dirt on Donald Trump that Russia is supposedly using against him to carry out their wishes, that this is the proof that Donald Trump is supposedly a puppet. Now, the FBI is currently going over this report right now. It was written by a former intelligence official. This was actually compiled by a private company. And now, since it's been given to the public, the FBI is investigating it to see how true it is. Now, the McClatchy News Service learned that John McCain, the Republican from Arizona, was the one who gave up the bulk of the report to the FBI Director James Comey on December 9. And the final pages of the report are dated December 11th. And that's quite strange. Now, here's some of the things that are said right in the report. Sources close to Trump campaign ever confirms regular exchange with Kremlin has existed for at least eight years, including intelligence fed back to Russia on oligarchs' activities in the U.S. Now, even if we acknowledge that there's literally no evidence of this whatsoever and that it's, it's, it's just something that's being said by the report, this kind of thing is fairly normal. Trump is a businessman with business concerns all over the world, so he would have a lot of connections. This isn't any different than very large bankers. This isn't different than any other large land developers. This is all pretty normal stuff, but this stuff about being directly in contact with the Russian government doesn't really have anything to back it up. But it's using something that's believable, the fact that businessmen, very powerful businessmen, have connections all over the world, to try to verify something else. Name Redacted reported that over the period of March, September 2016, a company called XBT Webzilla and its affiliates have been using botnets and porn traffic to transmit viruses, plant bugs, steal data, and conduct altering operations against Democratic Party leadership. Entities linked to one Alexei Gobarov were involved, and he and other hacking expert both recruited under duress by FSB, Svesta Kapsugolikvik, I believe that's pronounced, were play were significant players in the operation. However, this individual, Alexei Gobarov, says that nobody had ever contacted him about this whatsoever. He says he doesn't know why he's listed there, and he still doesn't understand the true reason for the report. In fact, he stated that he suspects one of his competitors is trying to is trying to d discredit him. Now, aside from that, here's the very important thing to keep in mind about this report that was given out by BuzzFeed. A dossier compiled by a person who has claimed to be a former British intelligence official alleges that Russia has compromising information on Trump. The allegations are unverified and the report contains errors. This statement is placed at the top of the article by BuzzFeed. By their own admission, it comes from a person who merely claims to be an intelligence official which is unverified, and they also admit that the allegations are unverified, and they admit that the report contains errors. So at what point does this become something that you should shove out into the media as proof of Trump's connections to the Kremlin? I mean, if, if this is supposed to be journalism, it's like the worst example of it one could possibly come up with. By its own admission, it's completely unreliable. Now, I'm no fan of Donald Trump. I think he should be sent directly to the gulag. But this is not journalism. Okay, do you understand that, BuzzFeed? When you admit that your own source is unverified and you acknowledge that it contains errors, you really shouldn't be publishing it like this. Like I said, I don't want to defend Donald Trump, but I, I am going to defend journalism here. I mean, this is not journalism that BuzzFeed has done. I mean, some of these claims are simply ridiculous. The Golden Shower thing, it alleges that Donald Trump paid two uh, black people to pretend to be Michelle and Barack Obama in a hotel room and where Trump had sex with Michelle while Barack Obama watched. I mean, this is just simply outrageous sensationalism. I mean, if you told me that he was in a hotel room and he did a line of coke during a business meeting, I'd believe you. Rich and powerful people do coke all the time. If you say he just hired a prostitute one time, I'd believe you. But to say something as ridiculous as this 
it has very much the flavor of it as a statement from an unidentified South Korean intelligence agent. It's that, it's that kind of level of ridiculous. See, when you make extraordinary claims, you need extraordinary evidence. And then BuzzFeed says that their own evidence is allegations unverified and contains errors. This tells us a one thing very clearly. Hillary people will believe anything negative about Trump without critically analyzing it first. Anybody, Trump people, will believe anything negative about Hillary without any critical thought or even analyzing it first. Both sides are completely guilty of having done this. And these allegations against Donald Trump, I see frankly no reason to actually believe them. We've yet to see any evidence whatsoever that Russia actually hacked the elections. Are there connections between Donald Trump and Putin? Yeah, there is. That is acknowledged. But this stuff here is just sensationalism designed to tarnish his reputation, which is funny because it's already really bad. And it's, it's simply unverifiable nonsense. BuzzFeed should really stop having a journalism section and people who work for BuzzFeed should stop calling themselves journalists. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.